so hello beautiful viewers welcome back to my youtube channel again we are here again with another vital information concerning policies because um so we have actually break silence condemn call for military takeover as protester parade with russia flag so if you like call today um earlier back as um, at, um august 3 to the august 5th the notenance came out actually to claim that they don't want president bola Ahmed Tinubu again that the person that they suggest right now is um they want um Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party in the 2023 general election. So Omoye um, Lesowore, a human rights activist and the leader of the Revolution Now movement, has made it clear that he opposed linking any call for a military takeover of Nigeria with the ash and bad governance in Nigeria demonstration. So with a post he made on his Twitter account. Um, on his ex social media formerly known as twitter account so worry clarify that situation is response to speculation that the massive demonstration against poverty and hunger was a pretext for calling for military takeover he underlined the movement's objective is to fight the widespread bad governance that affects all institutions including the Nigeria military rather than to support military rule so i want you guys to take a close watch at this video where the military men came out to even state it outrightly on what they actually plan to do so watch the video and let's get back to the full details and explanation for democracy and any of those ones that are calling for anything other than democracy uh i think are evil people and they don't mean us well and then they should be very very careful because the laws will come after them. Uh, we can see with democracy a lot of things happening in Nigeria. Yes, we are going through trying periods. I mean, in life, nothing is 100%. Everybody goes through trying period, and it is what you do with them. And we can see the government putting in efforts to ensure that we come out better. And it is when you go through difficulties and you come out better, you really appreciate what it is to build a nation. And so that's what we're going through. So we're going through our trying period, but I can assure Nigerians that it will get better. All we need is all of us putting our hands together to ensure that we defeat those enemies of the government, these enemies of this country that don't want us to succeed. We will surely succeed and the armed forces is here to support the government in ensuring that we develop, we succeed. So hopefully I believe you guys actually took your time in watching what the military men have to say when the lieutenants and some other Nigerians call for the takeover from the democratic president expert so sorry a politician who ran for the president in 2019 and also ran for the president on um, post in the 2023 general election has spoken out about the ash and bad governance movement he said the movement is against all groups that contribute to nigeria's bad governance however he made it clear that this does not mean supporting a military takeover so Sauer explained that the fight for good governance include all institutions that have contributed to Nigerians' problem, including the military. But he emphasized that the movement is not calling for the military to take over the government. He wants to make it clear that the Ash and Bad Governance Movement is a peaceful protest against the bad leadership, not a call for military intervention. Somebody believe in a democratic principle and want to see Nigerian governed democratically and not by military. In his word, we are fighting against all institutions that have contributed to bad governance in Nigeria, including the military. But this so guys, apparently, I believe you guys have actually watched the video and see how a lot of people are complaining concerning the economic hardship going on in Nigeria. So protesters have been calling for the return of fair subsidy as a means of alleviate in the escalating cost of living in Nigeria. So however, if you watch the video, you will see how people are complaining about the hardship and how they are planning and how they want to carry the protest you know and however Wale Edun made it clear that the 2024 national budget does not include any provisions for fair subsidy he emphasized that the country current economical trajectory is promising so there is no fair subsidy in the budget that is the truth and the technical facts we have signed we have signed that we are going in the right direction we what we must determine to do is to maintain this trend wale edum stated it outrightly so this decision aligned with president bola Ahmed Tinubu's recent address to the nationwide protest where he described the removal of forced subsidy as a painful but necessary measure 
President Bola Ahmed Tinubu had abolished the subsidy in June 2023, leading to a significant increase in food price from 238 naira per liter to over 600 naira per liter. So, despite this stance, former President Olusegun Obersanjo has claimed in an interview that the financial times that the subsidy have affected return due to inflammatory pressures. So, in a related development, residents of Castina State have turned to prayer in a bid to seek the intervention against these challenges of hunger and insecurity. And as I'm speaking to you on Tuesday, a large crowd gathered at the Castina Arabic Teachers College prayer ground for a special prayer section. So, so right now, I want you guys to go to the comment section and share your opinion concerning what you think. And we will be happy to have you guys in our next video. Have a great day ahead. Bye.